What up? Tyler here with TarverAcademy.com and I'm going to hit you with some math knowledge. All right. We're talking about um, solving equations um, using like problem solving stuff where they give you like a word problem. You got to break it down, figure it out. We want to talk about consecutive integers. Okay. Like I've said before, with math, they're not very creative. They're great with numbers, not creative. And so what they did was they said, well, what are we working with here? Integers. Okay, so like numbers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, integers. All right, well, what are we talking? We're talking about stuff that's like in a row. So it's like consecutive, right? <gasps> Let's call them consecutive integers. Oh, yeah, great. Huh, high five. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> math. Grr. All right, I don't know why I made that. A face. Okay. Consecutive integers. It's talking about numbers that are back to back. They differ by one number. So like 49 to 50, uh, 71 to 72, 100 and 101, 3 and 4, 5 and 4, 5 and 6. Those are consecutive integers because they go back to back. So um, when I was growing up, the only time I'd ever heard consecutive was like uh, consecutive home runs in baseball. And when somebody got up there, boom, home run, ha, score. Next person comes up. Boom! Oh, home run, back to back. Consecutive home runs. It means it's back to back. That's what consecutive means. Okay? So let's look at an equation. Um, let's say uh, three consecutive integers um, add up, or the sum of three consecutive integers is the fancy way to say it, to 147. What are they? A lot of people. A lot of people will just like guess and check. Like they'll start typing, if they're taking a test, they'll just type of stuff in their calculator. Um, I'm going to show you the equation way to figure it out, but I'll also tell you if you are going to guess and check, say like worst case scenario, you forget everything I just taught you, which you shouldn't because I'm going to teach it as well as I can. Um, and remember everything I say. Did I ever mention that? Just remember everything I ever say. So whenever you're doing this, if you are going to guess, think, okay, you've got three numbers. They're going to add up to around 147, which is close to like 150, and they're going to be back to back to back. Okay. If you've got a, around 150, split that into three chunks. Because if numbers are off by like one, they're pretty close. So you're like 50, 50, 50. That's 150, right? So you know that your three numbers are going to be close to 50, give or take probably five. That's my guess. All right? Because you know they got to add up to that, but they differ just a little bit. So I guess they're probably somewhere around like the 48, 49, 51, 52, 53 range. But I'm going to show you how to work the problem legit style, so you can write it out, so you get an open response, you can write it out, look really smart, make your teacher look good, then your school look awesome, they're going to celebrate, and you're going to win a million dollars. That's how it works. I didn't make the rules. So this is how you do the equation. All right, so I know that I've got three numbers. One of them is a number, and then they're consecutive. So I know that I've also got another number that's just one more than that. And then I got another number that I know is one more than that. So it'd be like this number plus two, correct? So I've got my original number. I know I went up one, and then I went up two from there. So boom, boom, boom. They're in a row. I know they add up, add up to equal 147. All right, so now I just got to, oh, it looks so hard. No, it's not. Look, dude, just split it at the equal sign and combine like terms, okay? You don't do any opposites unless you go across the equal sign. We're not going to go there yet. We're going to chill over here for a minute. So we got x, plus x, plus x. One, two, three, that's three x. I'm gonna mark them out so I don't count them twice. I kept the signs with them. Now I'm gonna do my regular numbers. One plus two is three. Now I'm gonna bring down everything over there. Now I'm gonna go across the equal sign. I'm gonna get rid of that one first because it's further away from the x, so minusing three. That cancels out. Three x equals one forty. Four, and then I'm going to divide that by 3, because 3 times x, the opposite is divide. So we've got x, it cancels out, and then that goes into a 4, and then 8. So x equals 48. And you're like, oh, I'm done, and that's going to be an answer. Well, don't do that, because they're probably going to want you to find all three consecutive numbers. So don't just put 1. That's crazy. But I know one of them is 48, correct? Now, I kind of marked over it, but I knew I had x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. Okay? I just found x, and then x plus 1. So 48 plus 1 is 49, and the 48 plus 2 is 50. And you can always try that out to make sure it's correct. Add them up. Um, that's 7, 1, 5, 10, 14, 147. 
pretty good. It's pretty good. Not want to toot my own horn, but thank you, Chick-fil-A. Sponsored by Chick-fil-A Diet Lemonade. Delish. Oh, hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. Wait, click that. Anyways, I'll wait.